Hey, 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 guys, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Passion here, and welcome back to another episode of Forever Survival. Well, today, you see, I am already equipped with my uh, pickaxe, and the nether is beckoning me to get into it. Well, as you may notice, there are no shaders in this episode. Why? Because we are in 1.16. Yeah, and it's also good to see if your design works well uh, in the vanilla Minecraft look. But anyways, uh, let's get on to let's get on to uh, going to the Nether. So because I'm going into the Nether, one of the things I want to do today is I want to trap uh, a piglin because I want to sort of make a, a, a an automatic trading thing such that I can see if I can get some cool stuff from it and the one I'm going to use is going to be one I got from uh, Logical Geek Boy that is good that I saw in his video a couple of days ago so what do you need to go to the nether well I already have some stuff here well, I have a name tag with the name I'm going to give the piglin that's uh, pigs a lot and a couple of gold nuggets to lead him into the trap that I'm going to build I think I'll need a couple of gold or Temporary blocks, uh, I'm guessing. Probably glass for now, but I do not have glass and I don't want to go through the, bar, the trouble of, of getting. So I'm just going to go with a diorite and then um, I also need a way to track my path. Because if you did not know, um, the way 1.16 works is if you had already gone to the nether and you had already loaded in some chunks, those chunks are not going to change which I had actually gone into the nether before so I'm going to have to travel a little bit further away to find I think I'm going to need more than that uh, I want to travel a little bit further away to find to be able to find a, a place to uh, sorry the crimson forest or or the the crimson forest or the warped forest I think it's called the warped forest yeah, but anyways, I also have to make sure I have a piece of golden armor of some sort. So I'm, I'm just going to make a breastplate. Uh, just sacrifice this and make a breastplate because well, it looks cool. So make a few more nuggets and then I'm going to have to wear this. But it's the only way I'm going to be protected against the piglins and the nether. Of course, you do not need to have uh, uh, gold weapons, but so you can use your uh, usual weapons. I have one sword here, looting sharpness, and many my literally gold level sword. And I'm keeping the flint and steel on me just in case. Uh, so we're just going to go on ad an adventure. So I guess I'm ready. Put this in my hand have my sword and yeah we are ready for another adventure um by the way i had forgotten to say one more thing before we head to the nether we are also going to have to get uh, a couple other things so besides just having the stuff i have on me right now um um, I'm also going to have to get uh, a carpet because if I'm going to make that trade that that piglin trading thing I'm going to need uh, the battering system. I'm going to need a carpet such that I could push the piglin a little bit higher up And then besides the carpet, I'm also going to need a way to I mean, okay I will get the other stuff after I've gotten the piglin and I've found after I've found the place But yeah, just make sure you get carpet such that when you're placing the guy there You do not have to struggle to get uh, the carpet again Okay, um, you have seen me do a little bit more preparation. I just realized I was barely, barely, barely close to being prepared the first time. So I had to get some fire resistance potions. I had to get uh, some coal and sticks to because I want to make um, 
because I'm preparing to make some because I'm preparing to make some uh, soul soul torches to help me with the uh, piglins just in case I have any trouble I had to get some food uh, yeah pretty much this, the rest are the same but yeah that is preparing to go to the nether so now it's time to go to the nether so the first thing we're going to have to find is um, a crimson forest biome and that is it so here we are and as you can see I'd really place torches here so nothing is different and wherever you see the cobblestone yeah so I'm going to have to I'd really go into that uh, to that uh, fortress so I'm going to have to probably go a completely different direction one that I have never loaded in or make sure I get some magma cream from these guys because fire resistance is going to be so important in this 1.16 nether come on give me some oh magma cream yes more magma cream yeah that's that's more like it so guys i have found a piglin bastion i have really traveled far in the nether uh, largely because I think I loaded in a lot of chunks so it took a while to find these new biomes but I am finally here this is a piglin bastion I cannot dig any of this because this is dangerous okay this is hard to get in but I guess let me save it for later I do not want to be unprepared when I'm getting in here I really want to be ready with soul torches and stuff so I need to find soul torches I think I'll do this later oh yeah so I finally found a warped forest biome interesting uh, I realized it seems the striders prefer to spawn in this in this biome oh look at that uh, the striders so most of them are here and I wonder why they're walking on land when they have lava next to them oh okay I want to do the lava Okay, so the guy is trapped. I trapped on with a lot of armor, but well, that's the one I could get. He gave me a couple of stuff: crying obsidian and the pearls, uh, glowstone powder. It's crazy stuff. But now, now that I'm I'm done trapping him, I'm going to give him a name, such that he does not despawn. So, hello, sir pigs a lot. That's your name. I'll have to come back with more glass uh, and set up the set up the trading. The oops, what's that? No, 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 no. Oh crap! No, 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 no. no. This guy. Yo, what? I thought I hit it in time. Oh, I might have to move and kill that guy. But anyways. Who's cut onions? I might have to move on and uh, I need to find the soul sand valley though. I wonder where I'll find it. But anyways, at least let me head back to the overworld and then come back for that.
Okay, so I died so many times. So many times. I lost so many things and I figured I was nowhere near prepared. Um I lost all my diamond gear. I had to go I tried to go back without any gold. I was killed by a hoglin. Then I was killed by a piglin. Then I was killed by an enderman. And by that time, all the stuff had despawned. So, yeah. So, what I, I went forward to do was... Um, I went ahead and created a way to quickly get XP because... I'm going to have to re-enchant a whole other set of diamond armor. S and I remember that earlier when I was uh, off camera, as I was exploring my world. Particularly the mines, I found... I found a place with a, uh, I found a place with, with an abandoned an abandoned mine shaft, and uh, yeah. So this this is this must be it. So this place had a, a spider spawner, but when I just I thought I was only going to make one, then somehow luckily I found another spawner that was in very close proximity so close that i uh, i could to make a very good xp farm so i spent the whole of yesterday night pretty much uh building that yes this is the next day from the previous clip because well i died so many times i told i did find diamonds also that i'm going to uh, get later because i want to get them with fortune it's an eight vein so yeah but uh i'm going to quickly just show you the spider spawner so here we go right down here the spawner is up this side you know this whole entire thing but right down here is where all the magic happens right down here as you can see so i found a triple sp uh, a double spawn i found this so there's one spawner that side and another on this side which brings them all here and when I hit these guys, as you can see, quite a number here. I'm really, I really am getting lots of XP on the die. So right now, I want to go get my sword. Uh, then uh, get some, probably Bane of Arthropods. And then I can come, up, come back here and... Uh, I can come back here and get some XP so yeah I am back from uh, that session I managed to get 41 levels and as you can see I've already enchanted most of my stuff here in my hand is a pickaxe which is efficiency 5 and breaking 3 and fortune 3 all I all I need now is a mending on this and I'll be good to go here is a uh, an axe i still don't understand why axes have fortune on them but well they already do but that is a fortune three efficiency four and unbreaking three and this sword is my, going to be my main sword then um i have another sword that i'm going to be using for the for the farm for the the spawners that um that that um that i'm going to be using for that Anyways, I also went ahead and got a couple of diamonds, and from 8 blocks I was able to get 18 diamonds. But I figured 8 diamonds are no longer much of a big deal since the, the coming of netherite. But well, yeah, that is what is next. So, I'm going to go back to the nether. I now have, a, I have some, sorry, I'm going to, actually, no. I'm actually going to go and get... I'm going to go and get gold. So I found out, found the Mesa biome, I think in this direction. And I'm going to go to the Mesa and just get as much gold as I can before heading back to the nether to, to
to try and do what I was trying to do earlier. Okay. So see you guys in the mess. So, um, guys, uh, I lost a lot of footage in the creation of this episode and I ended up not recording any audio to the footage that I had of me trying to get the piglins uh, in, I'm trying to build the farm the battering farm so I decided uh, just to do a simple voiceover over this particular clip because it's heading towards the end and in a minute you are going to see me going into the nether and uh, you will see I, an already built up piglin buttering farm uh, that you most likely going to see me beautifying in the next episode but that's what I'm going to be working on next time so I guess I'm going to have to say my goodbyes in this clip and uh, see you guys next time it's been a, a rough couple of weeks because I've been moving out of my place and uh, of my parents house I'm finally getting in my own place and that has been tough that's why the videos have delayed a little bit but hope you guys understand uh, see you guys next time ciao Thank you.